Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, whew, what can I say? What? Oh, it's hard to start off this video, but uh, this is real life, folks. This is real life Bronco fans. Um, Bill's coming a mile high and absolutely murder Broncos on Saturday. They uh, won 48 to 19. And normally I would go and I'd recap the um, what happened during the game, which I'm going to. Now first off, uh, I just got to point out what went wrong for the Broncos today. Um, and first off, it starts off with the offense. I mean, 19 points is not going to beat the Bills. Uh, what I noticed on offense today is an offense that just did not have any rhythm out there. Um, it seemed like they would score and then they'd keep punting and keep punting and keep punting and keep punting. And, you know, when the Broncos would punt, the Bills would score. So, uh, the Bills, the only way we were going to have even have a remote chance to be in this game is if we went in there and made this game a shootout. We're not that kind of team. Um, so, yeah. I mean, to be honest, Drew Locke did not throw any, any interceptions. That's growth. That's good. He did fumble the football. He, now he needs to learn to take care of the football. Secure secure that bad boy. Because that one... I think he fumbled twice. Maybe it was just one time. But I know one of the times he when he fumbled, Bill scored off it. So that's what I mean. You just can't give those easy points to a team like this. Um, all respect to the Bills fans, though. I should have said that starting off the video. Um, you guys deserve this win. You guys went out there, did what you needed to do, and you guys won your division for the first time in 25 years. So congrats on that. Um, I personally hope you all go all the way. Um, why don't you guys take down Kansas City? That's for sure, but, you know, um, it was uh, definitely a good game for you guys. But Bronco side of things, man, um, I don't know, the offensive woes, man. You know, I know we're a young football team, and it's going to take a while to get these things, you know, accurate. And, you know. We're going to have a full offseason coming up, so hopefully that changes stuff. Hopefully everybody can go in, learn the playbook, get better together. Funny thing is, I actually got this hat today. This is an early Christmas present. Um, if I'm correct, this is the beanie they wore on the sideline. I might be wrong. I don't know. Uh, number two thing that I noticed today is we could not cover Stefan Diggs worth of shit. Stefan Diggs had a freaking field day. With us today um but you know it was to be expected because what's his face all we had was michael ojamudia Devonnie bosby and i think somebody else and then when michael ojamudia dumb butt had to get ejected yeah Diggs definitely had a field day he had a huge day he, he was the teacher out there on the field today freaking cooking those young corners it was to be expected, like I said, but it was ugly, man. And then the defense, man, I don't even feel like the defense showed up today. The defense played the worst I've seen them play all year. So I don't know what happened there. I don't know if it's because we have no corners or what, but it was just ugly, man. Josh Allen went out there, carved up the defense. Um, really wasn't a pass rush against Allen. It looked like Allen got all that he wanted today and you know the real score should have been like 80 to 13 to be honest it was it was bad there was so many penalties against the bills i could have had more points the broncos played terrible and uh they're officially eliminated from playoff contention so um not like we're gonna do shit anyway um i hate to say that but um I just wasn't expecting it, especially with all the injuries and everything that's been going on this year. Um, getting into the game, though, Broncos start out. Um, oh, that's another person I forgot. 
that kicker that played for the Broncos today, he needs to get cut tomorrow. Um, I'm sorry, but phew, you missed like fucking four field goals, boy. Like easy ones, like extra points. He missed like two of those and missed like two field goals. Brandon McMahon has played today. This thing would have been hopefully a little bit closer. I think we would have made that first field goal. I think it would have been a different outcome. I think we would have been a lot closer. I feel like just a lot of things that happened today shifted momentum. Um, I didn't expect to win this game, though, but I had hope that we could have. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Um, like I said, respect to the Bills. You guys came out, got the dub. Uh, after the missed field goal, Bills go down, score, make it 7 nothing. Broncos give the ball right back. They don't do nothing. They punt. Bills get another touchdown. They go 14-0. And then they give the ball right back. But that's when things kind of change for the Broncos because a muff punt happened. And, uh, you know, the momentum, I felt the momentum kind of coming back. They got a touchdown. Melvin Gordon ran it in. Um, and then after that, uh, this is actually happening in the second quarter. I forgot to mention. I think it was 7 nothing until the second quarter. That's when Josh Allen made 14 nothing. So, yeah, 14-7 because the Gordon scores. And then Josh Allen threw a 22-yard dart. There was, like, so many penalties. It was, like, second and goal in 22. Because they marched down the field after we scored when it was 14-7. And then they scored made it 21-7. So, just the defense, just so many blown coverages today. They played like crap. I, I can't even defend them uh, today. I think the offense played better than the defense. I think the defense just didn't show up, to be honest. But I don't know. That's just what I saw. And then Drew Locke, you know, marches down the field. Really good two-minute drill. I thought the Broncos did a really good job on that. And uh, Drew Locke threw a nice on-the-dot money ball to Manoa Fan in the corner of the end zone made the game 21 to 13 because the kicker missed the extra damn point so one score game that i actually i thought we had a shot when it was 21 to 13 and then just the terrible third quarter for the broncos they could not get anything that third quarter um because the bills got the ball they marched all the way down the field they score they make it 28 to 13 and then this is when Drew Locke has this fumble. Um, needs to get better at securing the football. Jerry Hughes, man, he was not going to go down. He wanted to score, and he did score. Made 35 to 13. And then the Broncos couldn't do anything. They gave the ball right back. Um, and the Bills actually went all the way down the field. And they went for it on fourth and one instead of taking the field goal. And they got stuffed. Zach Moss was short of a first down. Broncos get the ball back, and then they give it back to the Bills because they could not do anything on offense. There was no rhythm on offense today. And then the Bills get a field goal. Um, they had, like, freaking – they scored, like, twice or three times, but there's penalties, so they just settle for a field goal on that drive. Um, like I said, game could have been a lot high, higher scoring for the Bills than it was. Uh, and then the Broncos couldn't do nothing, gave it right back to the Bills. Bills get another field goal. This is when it's, like, 40 – one, two, thirteen. And then in garbage time, the Broncos drive down the field. Um, and Melvin Gordon scores a touchdown. And then at the end of the game, Devin Singletary, you know, put an exclamation point on it. And he scored, made it 39 to 19. Because back on the Gordon touchdown, he got two touchdowns. Kicker missed the extra point. What a surprise. So they need to get rid of him. It was stupid that Brandon McManus could not play today. Forgot to mention that in the last video. But yeah, 48 to 19 was the final. <laughs> Be honest, I a lot of people are bashing Drew Locke. I still got Drew Locke's back because I don't think it was 100% his fault today. I had a little bit his fault, but I just don't think that our our team as a whole showed up. The only guy that I think showed up today was Noah Fant, Melvin Gordon, and I don't know. There's really not a lot of people who showed up today. <laughs> That's all I can think of off the bat. Drew Locke had no turnovers, like, interception-wise. That's growth. Two weeks, no interceptions. It's growth. He did have a fumble. He needs to learn to secure the football. 
which those are easy fixes. You know, I mean, you, you know, you can learn that in the off season. But uh, again, another huge props to the Bills, man. Winning that division, I know it probably feels really good. Uh, been 25 years, um, so like I said, I hope you guys go and you know win a Super Bowl. You guys have never won one, and uh, it'd be cool to see a, a new team win one. Um, but as for the Broncos, just I I don't know where we go from here, man. It's uh, gonna be an interesting off season. Um, I really want to give Drew Locke another year. I know the fans aren't going to want to do that, but, you know, sometimes you got to give guys patience. And like I said, I don't think it's 100% his fault today. Um, you know, one more season of Drew Locke. If he doesn't pan out, then you definitely got to move on. They might move on this off season. You know, I'll support whatever moves the team does. But we need a new cornerback. <laughs> we need like two of them. Because uh, secondary is getting torched. Um, but, you know. <sighs> but I really ain't got nothing else to say, man. It's it's tough to kind of pinpoint this game and where to go from, from here. But <sighs> you got to go through the good to get to the... Or you got to go through the bad to get to the good and... There's a light every tunnel. We just haven't found the light yet. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. Uh, Bills, Bronco fans, leave your comments down below on your thoughts about the game. Uh, one last congrats to the Bills. Winner division. And uh, taking care of business. As for the Broncos, got to lick our wounds and see what we got in these final two games. Um, I was hoping that tonight was going to, you know, Drew Locke was going to, you know, have a really good game. I mean, he didn't do terrible, but he didn't do great either. So hopefully next week against a team that's more of on our level, he can have a good game. So we'll see what happens, guys. Uh, anyway, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. Other than that, stay safe, be good. <sighs> tough, tough Broncos country, but... I don't know, man. On to 20, 2021 for me. Next two games, win or lose, man. It's a win-win for us because we're out of the playoffs. And, uh, you know, if we lose these last two games, we get a better draft pick. If we win them, really doesn't do anything for us. So, yeah. I'm basically moving on to 2021 and getting ready for uh, some Denver Nuggets basketball. Because I'm actually excited about uh, what they hold in store for this season. So, all right. Deuces. I'll catch you guys in a couple days for my next preview. I'm out. Peace.